Yeah, as a runner, you know, I've done whatever, 10 to 15 marathons and a couple ultra marathons and a bunch of Ironmans. I'm familiar with seeing runners, you know, doing an iliotibial band stretch. And often people have these things chronically. And traditionally, iliotibial band syndrome has been thought of to be a tight iliotibial band. But the question is, like, why does the iliotibial band get tight? So what I do look for as a prolotherapist, I look for instability in the knee or instability in the hip. So if somebody has excessive movement of the hip or excessive movement of the knee, that's going to cause the iliotibial band to tighten. So if somebody has chronic iliotibial band pain or what is termed snapping hip syndrome, snapping hip syndrome is where you get pain in the iliotibial band on the side of the leg but you also get a clicking, grinding, popping sound. For instance, when the runner runs or the gymnast does certain movements. So it's iliotibial band pain plus cl cracking, clicking, grinding. So those things mean that the person has, an, has hip instability. Hip instability is when you have a labral tear or injury to the ligaments that support the hip. The hip is a ball and socket joint. So in other words, if the hip joint's moving excessively, then that's going to cause a clicking or grinding sound and spasm of the muscles around it. One of the muscles or bands that uh, gets into spasm is the iliotibial band. So anyone with chronic hip pain, chronic snapping sound around the hip, pain on the side of the leg that won't go away despite massages and physical therapy, then you should think about that you actually have instability in the hip or instability in the knee. The treatment for instability is to get the ligaments repaired, the labrum repaired, and in my experience, the best treatment for that is prolotherapy. Prolotherapy into the ligaments, into the labrum, or into the knee, the ligaments, or the meniscus, or whatever's causing the knee instability, uh, will stimulate repair. Those structures get strong. Once those structures are strong and there's not excessive movement of the joint, then the iliotibial band spasms, tightness goes away. So typically, I don't have to send somebody for physical therapy for iliotibial band syndrome or snapping hip syndrome. You know, they just have to get prolotherapy and then we gradually get the athlete back to exercise. And normally it's about three, four, five visits of prolotherapy, but often it's curative. So to me, if somebody has a chronic iliotibial band problem or chronic snapping sensation or snapping hip syndrome of the hip, then uh, prolotherapy is a great long-term curative treatment often.